Hello and welcome to my scrap room. It's been a while since I've done a scrap room tour, so I thought it was time to do an update. My room tours are fairly thorough, so I'm going to break this up into a bunch of different videos, and I don't know how many it will be until I do it, but I will start with a overall room tour, and then you can check out the more detailed videos if you're interested. So this is my scrap room. It is quite a bit smaller than the room that I used to be in. I've been in this one for three or four years now. You can check out my channel if you'd like to see my dream amazing scrap room which was in the basement. It was quite a bit bigger than this. This room I believe is about 12 feet by 14 feet or 12 feet. Uh, so it is the front room in my house and the nice thing about this room is it does have windows which my other room in the basement didn't have. Uh, this room since March of 2020 has served as both my scrap room and also my home office. And so that has been a bit of a challenge and that is why I have changed my room around quite a bit from the way that it used to be in the basement. I used to really love having all of my supplies out in the open and uh, I found it very inspiring to be able to just browse my supplies and see everything at hand. Uh, I stored a lot of things in baskets and bins out on my shelving units, and that was really great then. But now that I have to do sustained work in this room that is not scrapbooking or creative, I feel the need to have it be a little bit more calm. And so I have a lot more closed drawers and cupboards on my shelves and uh, baskets that are deep in that they, they kind of cover most of the things inside. I do still have a few th of my favorite things on display, especially colorful mists and uh, mixed media supplies and so on. Uh, and I've brought some greenery into the room and mostly this one is fake. Uh, and that one is there mostly to serve as the backdrop when I am sitting at my computer doing uh, video sessions. So I am a psychologist and I do my video sessions right there. And so I just wanted the background of my sessions, which is basically what you see here, to be just more plain and calm and not too distracting. And so you can see like the very edge of this shelf here, but my goal is not necessarily to look like I don't do anything personal in this room or that I don't have a life. People do know that I am doing this from home. So it doesn't have to be look, it doesn't have to look like a professional office, but I did want it to look fairly plain and not distracting. So I think that that does a pretty good job. Like I said, you can see probably like this much of my background while I'm in session. And I think that that's pretty good. Uh, so the other thing about this room that was fairly important to me is that while I'm sitting here at my desk, uh, as you can see, these lights that I had installed for my scrapbooking purposes, it provides a lot of really great light right here for when I do my process videos. They also do a really great job of illuminating my face when I'm talking, uh, when I'm on face-to-face -face camera. So that works out really, really well. I like that these lights hang from the ceiling instead of having stands and having to take up room either beside my desk or on my desk. And uh, I do have my top-down camera there as well. And what I decided to do with this embellishment center was to put some of my stickles out there because I, although I don't use stickles all that often, they really do brighten my day. I love looking up and seeing the rainbow there. And it's not too distracting, but it's just kind of colorful enough to be maybe a little cheerful or... Um, boosting of my mood. I also have a little plant there. That one is a real plant. 
uh, just to, again, just kind of brighten the desk area and make it look a little bit more enjoyable for me having to sit here for hours and hours some days. So that is my main sitting area. And so this desk is supported by three Alex drawer units and the two that are on either side of my chair where I sit when I'm scrapping have my most used supplies in them. And I will show you what those are when I do the more detailed tour. These are two boon organizers and so you'll see that it looks like just one big unit but they actually separate right around there in the middle. Uh, these do a pretty good job of storing all of the tools that I need to grab without me having to reach in a drawer and go rummaging through my supplies for them. So I try to keep this honed down to the most used items. Uh, and if it gets too cluttered, I just go through and I start taking things out and pare it down a little bit over time. The Making Memories Embellishment Center also is a perfect place for me to keep my keyboard and my mouse pad when I'm not using them. So that really allows me to use this space in the two different ways as well. So that is my desk area. I do keep a laptop over to the side as well because sometimes when I'm working, if I'm doing like a lot of planning or development work or work on my business, then I like to have the two screens. And with the new Mac update, you can actually go back and forth between your two screens with the same mouse and keyboard. So it's like, it's very seamless. And I love, love, love having the extra real estate on my screen to be able to just put certain apps over on my laptop. And then that frees up my big screen for uh, other projects and whatnot. So further along on the desk here, this is just a piece of melamine that we got from the hard store, hardware store that is like the building supply store, I guess, uh, that it came really large and we had to cut it down. And so it does have an unfinished edge on it. You can see there. I used to have some of that iron on edging that you put on, but it kept pulling off. So I decided to just paint it and that seems to be working a little bit better. Over here we have my second seat, which is where people sit if, if somebody comes to visit me and scrapbook along with me. My friend Stephanie sometimes comes and sometimes my friend Tanya comes and visits me. I have my brother Scan and Cut and I also have a Cricut Joy. I couldn't resist getting that Cricut Joy. It's just so tiny. It seemed like a really handy thing to have on my desk, particularly for journaling. I want to use it for journaling and I've experimented with using it, but I haven't figured out a way to work it into my workflow in a way that doesn't interrupt my creative process yet, but I'm working on it. Every once in a while I pull it out and I do a few little bits of journaling, but I haven't figured out how to work it into my process yet. I also have the Picture Mate PM400, which is an upgrade for me. I had the Picture Mate Charm, which is the 225 for probably 10 years. I have chipboard above that and it holds some of my important tools. I'll go through it in a little bit more detail in the longer video, but I do have a collection of dolls there. I also have a tiny bit of storage up by the ceiling for extra trimmers and things and I also have some collectibles up there from my childhood. Uh, I also collect miniature food and household items and so I have these three room boxes that I still haven't really set up yet. I haven't had the time yet to really uh, set those up the way that I want them to be but that's where they'll be when it is ready. Speaking of that picture mate charm there it is over there and it's only there temporarily because I have a lot of printer print packs for that printer and uh, I just want to use them up before I retire that printer altogether so it's over there and I use it when I'm printing up a whole bunch like if I'm doing a lot of batch printing I'll have both printers going at once just to try to use up some of the ink and the paper for that uh, picture mate charm which is such a great printer I hope that the 400 lasts as long uh, that's a fake plant there and then that's my old microphone which uh, it, it it has both of my mics have their pros and cons so I'm hanging on to this one for now. So I have a whole bunch of Jetmax cubes here. I have six of them and they fit various supplies and I will go through those with you in the more detailed video but mostly these are supplies that 
mostly scrapbooking supplies and some storage stuff and some card making and projects that are in the works. Then this is my calyx unit, my four cube by four cube calyx unit. On top, I just have some collectibles and my We Are Memory Keepers type set typewriter and some mini albums that I made before. Across the top of my of my Calyx unit, I have um, like card making supplies there and art journaling type of stamps right there. These are my six by six paper uh, pads. And uh, over here, I just have some blending brushes and some things that don't really fit anywhere. They're in there. I have some of my current albums that I'm working on here. That one is my Project Life. That one is my scrapbook. And then that one is my Cuba Trip. That one is empty. Uh, th then I have a little cubby basket that holds mostly stuff, some stuff that I'm going to be giving away and also some stuff that I don't know where to put yet. This basket here has mostly Cricut supplies for my Cricut Joy. And then this basket has a bunch of different types of paint. These cupboards hold mostly paper and uh, I'll just open one of them. And if you wanna see all of them, you can watch my more detailed video. So I keep a couple of tall bulky things in that corner. Then I have three Raz Cogs here. Uh, that one holds my punches, that one holds my letter thickers, and that one is my die cutting station. Then this two by four cube calyx unit holds uh, a lots of mixed media supplies. So that's what's in all four of these cubbies. These two are work. This is art, art journals mostly, and that one is where I keep my scraps. So I used to have my punches on rails behind the door and that's a really great way to maximize your space. It was just too cluttered looking so I had to take it down when I started working from home but that's I love that idea and I, I really wish that I could have my punches on my wall. That's one of the things I really miss about my old scrap room. So this is probably the most cluttered and busy wall of my whole room, but I don't mind this one being cluttered and busy because I'm not really facing it very often, and you certainly don't see it when you walk in the room either. The other thing that I keep in mind is that this room is on the main floor of my house and the doors open most of the time, so I want it to look nice when you just kind of glance in. So again, we have two more Razcogs here. This one, these two are both holding mostly Project Life cards and a bunch of stamps for scrapbooking and for Project Life. And also my die cuts and chipboard are down there and my stickers are right there. This is a pop-in organizer and right now it's nice and orderly. It doesn't have a whole lot in it. I do keep half sheets of cardstock. Uh, right here that I can grab if I'm going to be using my die cutting machine or just if I need a piece of cardstock for something. I find that I am a lot more likely to use a small piece of cardstock than I am to cut into a big one. So I just cut them down every once in a while and keep that full. All of my markers and pencils and um, clear blocks and white markers are all right here. I do have a rail here that I can hang stuff on and I tend to use that more when I'm doing projects and I have more supplies out than I normally would. I also have a little set of drawers here of which some of them are empty and some of them just have like notes and video stuff, foam adhesive and clips. Then I have this, which is supposed to be used as a light and a phone holder, but it has this really secure solid base. So I've been just using it as a base to attach my desk cam to because I needed something that was movable, but that wouldn't move on its own. I have a little smart coffee cup there as well that keeps my coffee nice and warm. I have two sewing machines, one for dark thread and one for light thread. That's quite a luxury, but I do enjoy <laughs> not having to rethread my machine. This is just a half depth cube, like one of those Recollections or Jetmax cubes. And um, this one holds my current Project Life supplies, um, some books there, some random mixed media stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else, and my planners up there. All of my Stampin' Up! inks and markers are right here. Then anything bulky that needs to be flat is up there. Mostly my trimmer is the thing I use the most, but there's also a scoreboard, a jelly plate, nope, not a jelly plate anymore, um, but also a large size Misty tool. 
These are just like re-inkers and a hot glue gun. That's embroidery stuff. Those are um, tissues and palettes and stuff. That's extra Project Life page protectors of various sizes. And then we've got page protectors, page protectors, Book of Me and One Little Word stuff, I, the I Am collection, and two collections from Pretty Little Studios. So that is my room in a nutshell. If you would like to see me go through wall by wall and drawer by drawer, stay tuned because the next video in this playlist will show more detail.